हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज स्वाति देश पांडे टीचर टूडे वी विल बी डूइंग फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट सम्स फ्रॉम फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड स्कॉलरशिप मैथमेटिक्स सेक्शन आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड फ्यू वीडियोस यू ऑल नो दैट इन केस यू हैव नॉट सीन देम प्लीज सी देम दे आर वेरी वेरी यूजफुल फ्रॉम एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इन ईच एंड एवरी वीडियो आई हैव ट्राइड टू कवर फ्यू ट्रिक्स फ्यू शॉर्टकट मेथड्स ओके चल आज का वीडियो स्टार्ट करते हैं द फर्स्ट सम विल अपियर ऑन योर स्क्रीन सोहम गोज टू वर्क एट 9:30 थर्टी एम एंड रिटर्न एट सेवन फिफ्टीन पी एम हाउ लॉन्ग डज ही वर्क सी सम स्टूडेंट्स आर इन अ पोजिशन टू काउंट नंबर ऑफ आर्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ फिंगर्स देर इज नथिंग रॉन्ग इफ यू आर कॉन्फिडेंट then you can go ahead with that okay but mathematical explanation i am giving you right now okay wo kabhi nikalta hai 9:30 am right and when he comes back 7:15 pm whenever you see pm you must convert that into 24 hour clock what does it mean ye jo r hai These are R, these are minutes. So R may you have to add twelve straight away. So new number will be this, new time rather will be this. So you have to go ahead with the calculation with the help of this and not seven fifty. So let's do it. Nine thirty को जाता है, nineteen fifteen को आता है. So इसमें बीच में का subtraction करके जो time आएगा, that will be his total time when he is out. For work, so nineteen point fifteen and nine point thirty. You have to do minus. Unlike normal subtraction, in case of clock, this minute we cannot separate as one and five. They are fifteen means fifteen. They cannot be broken. Unlike other subtractions, right? So what we will do? 15 में से 30 सब नहीं कर सकते सो वी हैव टू गिव स्ट्रेंथ टू दिस 15। हाउ कैन वी गिव दैट वी हैव टू टेक हेल्प ऑफ दिस आर सो आर में से एक निकाल के इसको देते हैं सो वॉट वी कैन डू यू आर आर राइटिंग इट आर मिनिट्स दिस 19 का हो जाएगा 18। सो वन वी आर टेक वन आर वी आर टेकिंग एंड गिविंग इट टू दिस मिनिट्स so this 15 will be plus 60 because when hour comes to minute side one hour means 60 minutes so we cannot add one here we have to add 60 here and minus 9 and 30 are same so our new numbers will look like this will be 75 now we can do normal subtraction 5 minus 0 5 Seven minus three, four. Eight minus nine, not possible. So this is zero, and this is eighteen. So eighteen minus nine is nine. So nine forty-five is the answer. Please be careful here. Understand minutes thirty here, fifteen here, forty-five here. You cannot break it four and five, and you cannot minus five minus zero is five. One minus three is like that. You cannot do this. Fifteen means it is fifty. You can give strength or make that number bigger with the help of hours. Hour में से एक आर निकाल के इनको दे देते हैं. So sixty आर करके we will get another bigger number. Fifteen हो जाएगा seventy five. Then we can do normal subtraction. Then that tension of not breaking and all is not there. Then you can do normal subtraction. You will get the answer. Isn't it interesting? राइट चलो आगे so they are asking how many boys are there what do we do 
In this kinds of sum, I have seen students doing 60% of 950. See what do they do? 950 ka 60%. So 60 upon 100. Then they will do this and they will arrive at this answer. After that, they will minus from this answer from this 950. And then they will get answer. So instead of that, what can be done? Agar 60% girls hai, to remaining 40% must be boys, no? 60 plus 40, 100%. 60% girls are there means boys are 40%. So why do we have to take help of girls percentage? Straight away they are asking boys how many boys are there. So we will take the use, make the use of boys wala percentage. Ye kyo aise karna hai long term? Nahi. So straight away we can make use of this 40%. 40% percent means upon 100. We can do this. See 950 ke niche kuch bhi nahi hai, you can write 1 to avoid the confusion. 1 0 gaya, upar niche, upar niche 0 nikha sakte hai lo. So 95 into 4, how much it is? 5 4s are 20, 9 4s are 36 plus 2, 38. 380 boys is the answer. See if you do this 950 into 60%, the answer won't be wrong. See, we will do it here. 60%. Same year 1. Zeros gay. Now, 95 into 6. 6 5s are 30. 3. 9 6s are 54. Plus 3 57. These, these many girls are there. So, 950 minus 570. So, again you have to do subtraction. 8. 15, then here it is 8, 8 minus 5 is 3. Answer won't change. But isn't this is a longer procedure than this? In one step we have arrived at the answer. So why to do 3-4 steps? We have to save time. Correct? Chal, aage hai. The next sum is how many maximum angles can be formed? I have Drawn the figure here. This is the figure what they have given. And they are asking how many angles can be formed. See students here. I have seen many brilliant students counting the number of angles. This is 1, then this is 2, then this is 3, then this is 4. Then ye do mila ke aur ek ho gaya, ye do mila ke ek ho gaya. Aray, mene wo liya ki nahi. Tha, phir se karte, phir se karte. And they waste a lot of time. See, for everything, there is a smarter way in competitive exams. Only thing is you are supposed to know. I have made an elaborate video on this in IT section. Please go through that. There I have shared all the formulae. Okay. This is again, there is a formula. You have to count these gaps. 1, 2, 3 and 4. How many gaps are there? 4. So your formula is 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. Answer is 10. Imagine counting the number of angles. I am not saying you will not get it. You may get the correct answer. You will get the correct answer also. But time spent is more. Here I just counted the gaps. Gaps, if there are 5, then 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. But there are 4 gaps. So 4, 3, 2, 1 and the answer is ready. I have saved a lot of time which I can utilize it for a another sum. Correct? Let's go ahead. Read the next sum properly. Ramesh had equal number of notes of rupees 5, rupees 10 and rupees 20. If it amounts to rupees 70, find the total number of notes with him. Rupees 5, rupees 10, and rupees 20. We don't know how many notes of each, but number of notes are same. If he has 
x number of nodes of 5 we will have x number of nodes of 10 and x number of nodes of 20 we don't know what is the value of x see this particular sum can be solved with the help of x that is a mathematical way of solving it but as i keep on telling you sometimes we have to do it smartly with the minimum possible steps and minimum possible time so here i am going to share with you a small trick <clears throat> whenever they say this the total is how much rupees 70 okay so what is your job is very simple 5 plus 10 plus 20 how much it is 35 just divide this 70 by 35 35 ones are 35 35 twos are 70 you can do it with division by 5 and 7 like that also the answer will not change answer will come after everything is done 2 upon 1 only so answer is 2 what does it mean he has 2 nodes of 5 2 nodes of 10 and 2 nodes of 20 and the total of everything will be 70 now here they have asked how many total nodes he has so 2 of 5, 2 of 10 and 2 of 20 6 nodes, 6 is the answer but here sometimes we twist I told you, you have to read the sum properly students assume ki total hi puchha hoga so 2 plus 2 plus 2 6 sometimes we ask what is the number of nodes of 5 and 20 10 we don't want so in that case 2 and 2 4 should be your answer but 6 hota hi hai and normally first option hota hai so then take it gone 2 marks gone unnecessarily even though you know the concept you know how to solve it you have solved it just because you have not read the sum properly do marks okay so reading part has to be done properly okay so here they have asked total number of nodes so 2 2 2 ye division ke baad jo number milta hai that is the number of nodes of each denomination okay isn't it easy if we do it with x then you have to do 5x plus 10x plus 20x is equal to 70 then you will add all x's then you will do division why you simply do it addition of these three then whatever is the addition divide 70 by that addition you will get the number of nodes of each denomination and then whatever they have asked read the question again and arrive at the answer tino ka mangta hai to 6 kisi do ka mangta hai to 4 kisi ek ka hi mangta hai to 2 everything is ready here correct okay students students if you like my videos then please share them with your friends and in case you have not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel i will be coming with more and more videos i will come with the next video very very soon till then what are you supposed to do study well and very importantly enjoy studying bye